Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Marvin again, back with more music reactions. Welcome back to Smitty Reacts. And on this video, we're going to be checking out some music from the Trey Anastasio band. Now, this song came requested a long, a long time ago. A long time ago. Like, I want to say, like, February or something like that. And, uh, Michael, I apologize for taking me this long to get to it. I, I got your emails. It got lost in my email. Um, you email me again to kind of follow with me, which I appreciate. Thank you for staying on me to get to these songs. So first and foremost, I'm here. I'm here for it, my friend. Um, but yeah, I wanted to check this song out anyway. This is a cover of the Gorilla song. Um, I believe it's Clint Eastwood, um, which is probably one of, one of the more uh, popular Gorilla songs out there. If you're not familiar with the original song, check it out. It's a really fun song. And, um, you know, it's, it's one of those tunes that I, I definitely know. But I've never actually heard anybody cover it. So I'm, I'm definitely here to check it out. So before I get into the video, a couple of quick things. Um, please, of course, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. That's my little channel girl over here. Also, along with that, too, um, for those that don't like this thing, I, I like to talk and pause in my videos. I, it's like putting that out there at the beginning of the video. That way there's no confusion later on, and I don't get it in the comments. <laughs> you know. But also, at the same time, too, it's like if you guys don't like pausing, if you're not a fan of that, you know what I'm saying? I respect y'all, man. That's why I say it at the beginning of every video. I respect y'all. So what I'll do for you guys is I'll put a link down in the description box below. That way you can watch it all the way through, you know, unedited and unscrubbed or anything. You know, just without me, which is kind of weird. So, yeah, watch it with your boy at least one time. Just saying. <laughs> so, at any rate, let me go ahead and start on this thing. This is the Tire Anastasio Band covering the Gorilla song, Sunshine. In a bag. Oh, oh, colloquial known as Clint Eastwood. Anyway, let's get it. Oh. Yeah. Woo! I catch you, bro. I'll pause right there on that one, y'all. I like that change up. I really do. I like the change up from taking it from like a rap verse to just her singing the, the words to it. That was a really smart move. Um, I forget the rapper that's, that did that. Um, is that Del the, the Funky Homo Sapien? If I remember right, which if that's the case, I want to say that I saw him provide perform, excuse me, perform just by himself anyway at um, in Las Vegas. And this has been a few years ago. I was down there for the Evo tournaments and stuff, and they had a, like a little party or pre-party or whatever at at a venue kind of close by. And I want to say he came in and did that verse along with some other verses and stuff, and he did a free show for us. If I dig enough, I might have that uh, video saved somewhere. I, I have to dig through my phone records and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, that was pretty dope. I like that. Now, as a former and very retired karaoke host, just saying, um, I've had to rap that verse <laughs> plenty of times, you know, just to back up different singers and stuff that would come up and want to do the song. But maybe they didn't have a friend close by or something like that. So I've done that verse plenty of times. I've just never really done it without having the lyrics in front of me. You know, but I, I recognize that those lyrics are fun. You know what I'm saying? They really are. You know what I'm saying? Really just talking about, you know, the feeling you you would probably have, you know what I'm saying? If you're, you know, elevated, <laughs> you know, in, in that sense, are you trying to get lifted? You know what I'm saying? 
So, yo, I, I definitely appreciate the lyrics on that song and, and the song and the chorus in general. You know, so I'm, you know, I'm happy, feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless, but not for long. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's always a clever lyric to me. It was like, I'm useless, but not for long. You know, the future is coming strong. You know, it's coming. You know what I'm saying? I like that lyric right there. It's really slick. So anyway, also, I like the way that they rearranged the song, too. So it's not like the, the you know what I'm saying? They, they basically kind of, I don't want to say it. They just basically um, kind of recomposed the song for the band. You know what I'm saying? You got Trey kind of held down the leads and stuff. They kind of slowed down the tempo of it. It just kind of gave it that kind of weird, kind of slinky kind of groove to it. You know what I'm saying? So definitely appreciate that. So at any rate, let me rewind just a little bit, and we'll jump back in it. This girl's voice is amazing, too. Like, I know she can sing. Um, she's the trombone. Yeah, the other girl's the trombone player of the band. And I want to say the bassist back here. Unfortunately, I think he's the one that passed away not too long ago. But that bass player is really good, too. I know he's been in the band, for, if I remember right, he's been there for a long time. So really cool to see this this version of, of Tab right here. So anyway, let me go ahead and uh, get back in it. Let's go. Life is to know the definition for what life is priceless Because I put you on the high right. shit, you uh -huh. like it Tony Marcellus on the bass. Tony, that's right, Tony. Salute to you, bro. Playing the best keyboard riff of the whole night. <laughs> Love that. I like that pain. I do too. The the best keyboard riff of the night. Just the blank, 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 blank. But that's cool though because it fills out the audio. It fills out the space in between. You know what I'm saying? You need something like that, especially if you need something to like anchor yourself. If you're like high off your ass and just tripping balls and doing all that shenanigans. Sometimes you need like an anchor note. You need something to like hold you down. And something like that, just a consistent pulse so is it's easy to find in the crowd, in the background stuff or whatever. And you just need to like latch onto something. It's going to be my man over here on the keyboard. 
And that's that kind of West Coast swag too. You know what I'm saying? That that lives a California love. Just saying. That's that that woman to woman. Woman to woman. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think it was Joe, is that Joe Cocker? Anyway, man, I got too many songs in my head. Let's, let's let let's, let's, let me let this thing ride out. Let's go. <laughs> Playing the best keyboard riff of the whole night. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> Multi-talented James Casey on baritone saxophone, tenor saxophone, percussion, vocals, and that. <laughs> Hell yeah. And on trumpet, keyboards, and vocals. I love it so much. The incredible Jennifer J. Howe. Jennifer. Hey. Thank you. Killed that Just a little bit more than we bring out the... Amazing Almond Brothers band. I want to thank you again so much for having us. Almond Brothers? We just had the greatest time. Thank you. We love you very much. And thank you, Almond Brothers, for inviting us. Have a great night. All right. Hey. Pause right there. You think got the Almond Brothers coming out after that, too? Come on, bro. That show is... I'm mad. <laughs> I'm just mad I couldn't get to that show. Okay, you had Trey and say, you know, the, you had Tab. I can't even say his name right. I ain't gonna try. But yeah, Tab and then you had the Almond Brothers right after that. Come on, fam. Come on, man. Oh, man. Oh. But at any rate, hey, they tackle that song very well. I like the way that they kind of reconstructed it, you know, kind of fit their form of music and such. And then they took that, that iconic rap verse and, and flipped it into the, the solo. And and Jennifer over there killed it. Like she really did an amazing job. Showed her vocal range off. Showed her skills on there. I like the staccato stuff that she kind of brought to it. You know, what I'm saying to bring out the feel. But it was definitely a different feeling kind of kind of groove. So I definitely appreciate that. And then of course the band right here, they just jammed. They just grooved it out right there. Nothing wrong with that. And of course my man back here on the keys with the most complex set of note playing ever. <laughs> But don't be fooled though. You gotta have rhythm to do that. If your hands ain't coordinated, if you're off tempo or whatever, you're gonna store you're gonna really stick out. Because yeah, it's simple per se, quote unquote easy. But at the same time, it's like if you're off beat and you can't do that, like yo, you gotta go. You gotta get out of my band. <laughs> but nah, man, but everybody a great job here. Also, shout out to my, my man right here in the picture. You know what I'm saying? Rest easy, my friend. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, like I'm not. I can't be like, yo, I've been a fan, da 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 da. Like, I, I can't say that, you know. But I recognize, like, in any group, any band or group dynamic, you know, if you have a, a an artist or musician that's with your your group for a very long time and you lose that person, you know, it's gonna hit and affect differently. I know, and I know, right now they have a new bass player, which is which is great. I'm glad they carried on, you know. But I'm sure, like, for long term fans and stuff, like, it's, it still has to like hurt just a little bit when you look back and you're looking for a familiar friend, and uh, unfortunately they. You know, they're no longer with the group or, or on this earth for that matter. So, and anyway, didn't want to end on a downer like that. But long story short, hey, song was fire. <laughs> definitely fire. Really cool cover of the song. And I'm, I'm definitely glad I checked it out. Grant, I'm sorry I'm late to it, Mr. Michael. I apologize when I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, thank you for the suggestion. I still got one more from you as well that I know of that I need to check out. So, I'll do that in the next video. So, at any rate, hey, my name is Marvin. This is Smitty Reacts. And I'm going to get up out of this video. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here, bro. I'm going to have to put this one on repeat. And just, you know, jam this on the way to work today. So at any rate, hey, I'm going to get out of here. So please, until the next video, take care of yourself. Be kind to one another. And of course, if you guys can do all that, I will definitely catch you in the next video. All right? All right. Peace.